Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm kind of doing a video on these side skirts that I picked up and uh, just kind of explain everything. Hopefully get them installed and uh, show you a few difficulties uh, that I might run into. So first off, let me start off by saying that these are uh, charge speed um, carbon fiber uh, side skirts. You can see the charge speed there. Uh, part number 5172C, this is right, the other one would be left, and then right here you have the rear, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, it's just an extension to the skirt, I guess, that goes on the rear bumper. So these right here uh, are going to have to screw in, you got big holes here, and then little holes all there. So I'm going to have to jack up that side of the car, and um, that's how they'll install. Let me see if I could... Uh, Kind of just put them up against there so you can see what it looks like let me get them on and then i'll fix the camera angle so there they are uh the angle will be a little bit different but that's what it looks like right there probably something closer to that uh, i'll try to get a better view and then obviously the other side will go on the same way i don't have any sort of existing skirt so there isn't any holes that are already there and then you have your rear this right here will go on the rear and it's going to slide into place right here so a problem that i've already looked at before i made the video uh, i have a 2017 i know that the 2017 bumper profile is just a little bit different than the pre-2016 uh, because of that these don't seem to fit perfect there are holes here a hole right here and this hole right here match up perfect for let's see i don't know if you guys can see that but this right here and uh, that right there <clears throat> so definitely i could reuse those piece those holes and then there's more holes here i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to get to them because if you look at the skirt itself like there's not really access to it um so I'm going to have to mark them, pre-drill, and figure out how to do it. I might have to go from above the bumper and down and use like a nut and bolt. But the problem that I'm running into is with this lined up where it's supposed to be, right here, you can see there's a gap. And I think the reason that there's a gap is because the bumper profile is a little bit different. So i got to decide whether or not I want to use these. And have that little bit of a gap there uh, something I might have to do is uh, shave down this portion of the bumper I think if I did that it would suck up in there a little bit better um, I'm just worried about ruining my bumper and so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do what I might do is go hook up with someone that uh, has a 2016 or older and see how well these fit on theirs. If it fits perfect on theirs, then I might just sell them, uh, recoup some of the cost of picking these up. Um, I would like them, but I don't really want to do too much work to try to get uh, this to match up right. So through the video, you guys will figure out what I'm gonna do. For sure the side starts, <coughs> bless you. <coughs> Sorry about that. For sure the side skirts will go on. I'm just not sure if these rear uh, extensions to the side skirts will go on. But the charge speed, uh, so if you are picking up some charge speed skirts um, and they come with the rear and you have a 2017 or newer uh, 8.6, there is a chance that you'll run into the same issue I do. And uh, hopefully I can figure out how to do this. All right, let me explain what I'm about to do here. So I'm going to use the back piece as a reference. So you can see that there's holes here. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to make holes in your car so that you can mount these. Now on the actual side skirt, the holes are a lot smaller. I'll kind of show you right here. See the holes are right there, a lot smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lift the car up. I'm gonna use this stepping bit right here to just make a small hole big enough for me to use these 
screws with the washer to hold them in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll mock up the skirt. Uh, I already got this one done and you guys will see it. I'll mock up the skirt and I will make a mark uh, where to draw, drill my first two initial holes. After I drill my first two initial holes, I'll get them in and then uh, I'll pretty much make all the, the extra holes afterwards. Um, I tried originally to put the car just on blocks, but you'll see in the video I actually had to uh, uh, jack it up a little bit in order for it to go up. So enjoy the install. Right now this is just one side. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done now. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I am making a hole or a mark uh, with the hole that's already in the side skirt so I know where to drill. I just made one in the front and I'm going to go ahead and make one in the back now. And then uh, here in a second I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes in. When I'm drilling this hole up here, uh, I actually drill a little too far. So uh, you're going to see me stop for a second. Here you can see I'm putting the screw in, but I realized that it's not going to work, so I'm about to drop the front of the side skirt down. So you can see here that the front of it's uh, up. I ended up having to use um, basically a bolt uh, to get in there that I threaded in uh, since I drilled the front hole a little too large. So now I'm just tightening up the back, and then uh, since the front's already tightened, So I wasn't able to get my drill under there correctly uh, in order to drill the holes out and put in the new screws. So I uh, put put my jack up there, got a little higher, and gave me the clearance I need. So what you're going to be seeing here is I'm just going to drill a hole, put a screw in, drill a hole, put a screw in, until it's all the way on. All right, uh, I have my daughter holding the camera, so hopefully she can keep it steady. Um, I have the side skirts on over here. You can see that they're on, and um, I'm going to attempt to possibly put this on here, or at least mark out where I think it's going to go. Uh, there's the hole here and the hole here. I'm going to line up with the fasteners on the other side. And the idea is I'm going to figure out where this lines up on here, and I'm going to make a mark and possibly remove some of this portion of the bumper to try to suck this in. So just stay right there, Leah. Stay right there so they can see what I'm doing. Alright, so it should fit in right about here and get sucked in. So the portion that's hitting the bumper is pretty much right here. 
So what I'm doing is I made a mark. Let me see. Made a mark. I don't know if you could see that uh, red line. I didn't want to make it too obvious, but I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna see about just cutting this portion off, just shaving it off just enough that that might suck in a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I might use a grinder wheel or I might um, see if I have a Dremel tool. But I think if I cut just that little portion off, that it'll fit. Alright, so I'm going to use this grinder tool. Um, hopefully I don't mess anything too much up. Pretty much at the point of no return. I just want to warn you, it's about um, to get really loud. So if you're using headphones or um, listening this loud, you should turn everything down first. right now. So I pretty much just melted the bumper away. So I'm going to take off some of the excess there. The good thing about it melting is that it... I'm about to turn on the really, grinder again so it's about to get loud. It doesn't really make the bumper look too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more off. see if that thing all right so I have the piece back I'm gonna try to line it up looks like the gap is definitely sucking in more but I do have to go higher uh, on this so I'm gonna have to keep going and pretty much just keep slowly keep taking bits and pieces off until I can get this to suck in better All right, I ground it down more, and if you look, that's pretty much where it'll fit. Um, there is still a decent gap there, and I don't think there's really much I could do. I might have uh, been able to somehow not grind down a certain portion of this to make it fit, but uh, that's pretty much how they're going to have to fit. Now, it's not sucked up in there, and I might be able to put something in there like a might get some foam like 3M tape to kind of fill in that gap and that way you don't see much of a gap right there uh, and then I'll probably try to be a little bit careful uh, on the other side I could also probably get some black uh, um, like butyl or silicone and kind of just fill it in there and then smooth it out um, but these are just in there temporarily it's using the stock uh, little rivets here. I'll pop it off. It's using the stock rivets, uh, plastic like push through rivets, and I don't think that's going to be strong enough to hold it on. So I might have to pull the bumper out a little, like so, get from underneath, and just do a nut and bolt to hold it into place. And then uh, figure out how to clean this area up to make it look a little bit better. Um, but I think I could get them to fit, and I think that's the plan. All right, here's what I did. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bolt sticking out through there and bolt sticking out through there. The way I was able to get it in was just to pull this in. So I have a little bolt with the washer in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to use a nut and a washer to get them on. All right, so that's what it looks like installed. Uh, it's still a little loose. I need to go in there and tighten it up. Um, but as you could see, there is still that gap right in there. So I'm going to want to do something to fill that gap in. So you don't see that. But right now I just have it in with those two bolts. 
it's pretty solid see it moves the whole entire bumper so I wouldn't really worry about uh, that and I just need to go in there and tighten everything up so it doesn't move around so side skirts I use your screws and washers I pre-drilled a little and then use like a self-tapping type screw and it got in and then this is what the rear looks like so we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like all together hopefully the Sun doesn't ruin things but kind of look at it at different angles I still need to do the other side and I still need to tighten up this side but that's pretty much what it all looks like hope you enjoy all right so I got everything on kind of just do a walk around got both sides The skirts fit perfectly fine, no real issues there. And the only issue I had was I believe these are for 2016 and older. And because of that, uh, this didn't line up perfect. So I had to actually trim my bumper and there's a gap in there. Uh, I'm sure you can see it right there. So I, need, I wanna do something to fill that. I'm probably just gonna get some like gasket material and uh, foam like gasket material that I should probably be able to just wedge in there and it'll help uh, keep like a seal and hopefully get rid of that gap but you can see what they look like and the other side pretty much the same thing uh, same gap right there you can see it a little bit more I went a little too high on this one so just need to fill in that area so it doesn't look so bad and then I use bolts. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. Uh, I don't really think you're going to be able to see them, but I use bolts to get them on. And they went through the bumper and down into this and then just tightened up and it's pretty solid. Not really moving. But that's it. Hope you guys liked it. I know it's probably a little longer of a video, but it's all done. Hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you.